Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install the latest version of the Dangerous Nintendo 64 emulator on your PS Vita. So the latest version is actually updated probably about a month ago now. But basically guys, if you want to install it, you must have Adrenaline installed and then go ahead and open up Vita Shell. Then press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay, so once you're on your PC, I will leave a link to the software in the description. Now keep in mind, this was actually intended for the PSP. That is why we need to run it with the Adrenaline emulator. But of course you can run it on your PS Vita. So what you want to do is just click the Dedulous64 RAR file and that will begin downloading. So once it's finished downloading, just head over to your PC's downloads folder. Now here are the ROMs that I'm going to be testing in this video. I've got Legend of Zelda, Super Mario 64, and Super Smash Bros. So they were the most recommended ROMs that I should test on this emulator. So what you wanna do with the emulator is just right click it, then select extract here. And you want to copy these three files into the folder or how many ROMs you have, it's up to you. And then select them again and put them inside of the ROMs folder. So it's as simple as that to set up the program. ROMs go in the ROMs folder and then everything else is on the root. And basically guys, make sure your PS Vita is connected. Make sure hidden files are ticked so you can see them. And we are looking for the PSP MU folder. So basically go to your downloads folder, right click copy the emulator, Go back to your PS Vita, go to PSP MU, go to PSP, then go to Game, and this is where you want to right click and then paste it in. So I will be testing that these three games that I've copied across, I'll be giving you guys my opinion if they're worth playing, if the audio is glitchy, you know, what kind of FPS they run out. So let's go onto my PS Vita and I'll show you guys how to launch up the emulator. Okay, so back on your PS Vita, once the file has been installed, you can now completely close out of Vita Shell. Now you want, what you want to do is go ahead and open up your Adrenaline emulator. So now if you go onto the memory stick, we will be able to find it on here. So here it is. I'm pretty sure you pronounce it Daedalus, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, let's just press X to open it. So here are all of my ROMs that I've got on here. And basically guys, to navigate through the emulator, you just use left and right. So there's save states, and there's an about section. There's global settings where you can put display info. You can pretty much just change anything on here. Um, nothing in these settings is like performance wise. And then basically to launch a game, all you do is find the game you want. So let's say uh, Zelda and then you just press X on it. And now you go to edit preferences. And if you want audio on, basically scroll down to audio, change that to synchronous. Keep in mind that the audio might be very glitchy. Um, and then just do save and return. Uh, there's advanced options as well. Um, nothing in here really improves the emulation. And then there's cheats as well, where you can enter in your own cheat codes. So let's just do save and return. Now we want to press X on start emulation. And then it will load up and just give it maybe like a, one minute to load and then eventually the emulator will start. So I'm just going to show you guys three games. I'm going to show you Zelda, um, Mario 64 and Super Smash Bros. And you guys can just get a general idea of how glitchy the audio is, how, you know, how well the game plays and just if you think it's worth playing.
So that is pretty much it for this video. That's just like a general test on a few games. Obviously the emulation isn't perfect and I'm not sure if it ever will be to be honest. But you know, it's I'd say Mario 64 is definitely playable. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.